Hey guys, how it going? This is Yara Spark. I'm here today in Elite Dangerous on another shipbuilding guide. Today I am here in my AX Freight Mark II. Uh, this is what I personally use for AXing and killing Thargoids, but that is just me. Um, but yeah, we'll be going over our um, guard cannons, gauze cannons, and everything about AX pretty much in this video, so stay tuned. For my ship, I use mostly uh, guard shaw can or guard. Guardian Shard Cannons, because it does uh, do the most DPS next to pretty sure Gauze Shots, but they're more focused if I'm correct. Don't quote me on that, but they do also do a little bit more piercing. Basically, piercing comes into effect a lot in this game, but yeah. Uh, with uh, the way the, the way with the Guardian stuff is that it's a lot of teamwork, so you kind of have to work with your teammates, have classes or... Uh, be able to accommodate stuff that they might be lacking in and stuff, so black launchers, pulse lasers, and stuff like that. But uh, for your d m main DPS, we'll be using three 3C three Guardian Shot Guardian Shard Cannons. I don't know why I'm trouble saying that today, guys. And also a 2B Guardian Gauze Cannon. Basically, the Shard Cannons are frag cannons, and the Gauze Cannon is basically a railgun. Uh, these three do a lot of damage and really kill um the interceptors off really fast also the 2e pulse laser is long range five with concordant sequence to basically heal your allies that are in a wing make sure you guys know that you have to be in a wing to use it for its healing effect for the utility mounts you have a shutdown field neutralizer basically charge it as the energy wave is coming at you or about to start and hold the trigger down i have a OA shield booster with heavy duty 5 with super capacitors. Basically, the Thargoids only do absolute damage, which is having a high mega jewel stack, but it doesn't really matter the resistance either. And then I have two heat sink launchers currently. Uh, basically, you need to be able to melt uh, or melt caustic off, so you'll have to get your ship to a 250% heat to instantaneously get it off. And also, Thargoids can't pick you up when you're on low temperature, so if you need to shake them off or burn caustic, drop a heat sink. And you'll get nice and chilly. Uh, for my core internals, I use military grade composites because you don't, as I said, they just do absolute, so resistances do not matter. So currently, uh, military grade is basically the same as reactive and mirrored as far as absolute goes, so just get military, make it cheap, and it's the same thing, so. Yeah, Heavy Duty 5 with deep plating. Uh, the power plant, you can have Armored 5 with double brace to basically keep your modules as intact as possible. The thrusters I have is Drive Tuning 5, or Dirty Drive Tuning 5 with drag drives. It is a little bit slow, but it is also very heavy. A 5A frame shift uh, drive, I have shielded FSD4, you can put 5 on there, and also Mass Manager to get you around. I have a 4A life support in case I knock out my canopy, so I have 25 minutes of emergency life support. Very handy, trust me, you'll need it. Uh, but that is just me. You can do whatever you need to it, lightweighted and whatnot, but I do prefer to keep it just because it's that important. Uh, the 7A power distributor is um, Arch Enhanced 5 with superconductance. Very handy to have on the battlefield. You need to be able to fire as fast as possible. These shark cannons take a lot of power draw compared to frags. So don't think they're exactly like frags. And 6A sensors. I'm not sure why I have this. With long range 3. I think so I can keep the interceptors on radar. And also my allies from long range 2. And I am using a 4C fuel tank. But you can use whatever you feel like needing. For my optional internals, I am using a 6E Bioweave Shield Generator with uh, Reinforcement Shields 5 with Fast Charge. Basically, as I said, you just want to have high uh, absolute stack on your armor and shields. And also, the way Bioweaves work, you get half of your shields back once you regen the shield, so it makes a good Mega Jewel stack over Prismatics, and you also would get them back no matter what, unlike Prismatics or maybe even Standard Shield Generators. 
I use a 6D fighter hanger with a javelin or AX type hands, whichever one you prefer. Uh, the 6D fighter hanger is there for support, train crew members, and also there for people that want to start AX but don't have the ship or want an introduction or just friends that want to be able to play. Very lovely, very fun. I do recommend. And then I have uh, two 5Ds, 4D, and uh, two 3Ds that are all heavy duty hull reinforcement 5 with deep plating. As I said, you just want to have a high integrity, absolute integrity. Resistances do not matter for Thargoids at all. And no, the Guardian hull reinforcement packages cannot be upgraded, even though I wish they could and they should. But I am also running a 2D and a 1D module reinforcement package. If you want to run a 2D and a 3D here, have an auto field maintenance kit here in case for your canopy, go ahead. But this is how I do it. I hardly lose my canopy. But if your canopy starts to crack, just pull your face away from the Thargoids resident. it should be fine. But um, the Crate Mark II is a very popular ship and a very good ship for AX fighting. It takes the beating. It does the job, it has the weapon reselection, it has the utility, it just does everything, guys. I do recommend the ship for AX fighting, and you do see this ship a lot when you're out AX fighting. It is a very good ship. It's also a very good ship for other reasons, too. But in particular, this is where the Crate Mark II excels in, especially when uh, Beyond first came out, if I'm correct. That was basically the whole point of this ship, too. Uh, but also down below, guys, please tell me how you set up your Crate Mark II for AX fighting, what you think of my build, and also feedback in general. I do appreciate it, and please leave a like and subscribe. It does help the channel, and it helps you keep up future content. Until then, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.